Immuno Affinity Chromatography. Explained for dummies, by dummies. Quite a mouthful, right? But what exactly does it mean? Well, to explain that, let's focus on the individual words. Chromatography. There are many kinds of chromatography. But generally, they all possess the same goal, that is, separating substances by their characteristic features. Now, our special type is called affinity chromatography. It works by exploiting the unique binding technique of specific molecules, which is oftentimes referred to as the key lock principle. The way it works is that only specific molecules bind to a different molecule, whilst other molecules don't. This can be utilized by putting spe uh, these specific binding molecules on a so-called solid stationary phase, which is oftentimes a type of gel. Now the sample can be poured over the gel so that it can flow through, and while the unwanted molecules flow out at the bottom, the analyte, that is the molecule to, uh, which is to be separated, retains bound to the stationary phase. The immuno in the name already suggests that it has something to do with the immune system. And indeed, it means that it works with antibodies, which are made out of a protein uh, that is called immunoglobulin, hence the name. Antibodies are naturally made by many animals and have the ability to bind to a specific substrate called antigen. The way it does that is with many non-covalent interactions, such as hydrogen bonding, electrostatic attractions and van der Waals forces. If the antigen fits perfectly, it will bind very tightly to the antibody. Note that even uh, even if the substrate changes in structure just a little atomically bit, it will no longer be a perfect fit and therefore not bind, making this purification technique very specific. These antibodies now can be stuck on that stationary phase from earlier and voila, if a solution is put over, the important molecules will stick. The remaining sample can be discarded, or who knows, maybe it's that what you're looking for. Now, to get the analyte out, simply wash it out with a so-called elution buffer, which disrupts the interactions between antibody and antigen, thus flushes them out to be collected. Notice that the setup is stackable and can therefore be used to filter out multiple analytes in one go. And, more importantly, this whole process can be reversed. Instead of putting antibodies on the face to filter out the antigens, you can also put the antigen directly on the gel and filter out according antibodies. This process can therefore be used to extract antibodies from animals, for example. It is also sometimes used to purify specific amino acids. Or it can be used for virtually any purification. And mostly comes to use if, uh, if you want to filter out a molecule which can't be purified otherwise very easily. That brings us to the question, but why? Well, the pros are, it is very reliable, because it is very specific, as in not accidentally filtering out unwanted substances. And it is very variable, that is, the same principle can be applied to virtually any analyte. And it is reusable. However, it is pretty expensive. And unfortunately, it can only be used on laboratory scale, 
so it can't be used commercially to purify extracts, for example. And it unfortunately is not for dummies. <laughs>